hello everyone welcome to my channel today I am going to show you how to make a stress-free easy but tasty chicken shawarma recipe so if you are interested let's keep watching for this recipe I have got chicken breast fillets I have got about nine fillets so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it into uh, small uh, chicken pieces but it depends on how big or how small you like it some people like very big chunks of chicken in their shawarma and some people like it very very small or even like it shredded so it's up to you and then for this recipe I am going to add in one medium-sized onion I think it is enough for nine pieces of chicken breast but if you want to have more onions or more flavor you can add two um, onions and then I'm going to slice the onion very very thinly all right so my onion is ready and I am going to add it to the chicken you can add it now just as I am doing or add it later on now I am going to add yogurt so for chicken shawarma the secret ingredient is the yogurt I am using Greek style yogurt because it's currently my favorite I think it's very versatile you can do everything with this type of yogurt but use the liquid one if you prefer but if you are using Greek style yogurt you need two tablespoons of it and then you need to add half a cup of oil and I am using a vegetable oil but feel free to use olive oil or any type you want I am also going to use some chicken seasoning and I got this one from Iceland if you are in the UK so you need about half a tablespoon of chicken seasoning and then I'm gonna add all season I also bought it from Iceland and also half a tablespoon a little bit of white pepper just about one teaspoon and then I'm gonna add some Cajun seasoning or Cajun seasoning also got from Iceland but I'm pretty sure you can get it from anywhere also half a tablespoon and then some garlic granules half a tablespoon and some chili powder so here you can add the amount you like but one uh, tablespoon is fine if you like it spicy and then I'm gonna add a little bit of mild curry powder I'm gonna add about one teaspoon of curry powder then I'm gonna add some smoked paprika to it and this is gonna be half a tablespoon and then last but not least we're going to add some salt so about half a tablespoon of salt and this is it now with your clean hands mix everything together so after mixing it if you are not in a hurry like me you can cover it and leave it in the fridge for about two hours but if you want to do it quick like me you can just prepare it or cook it straight away so now I am going to heat up my wok without any oil because we've already added oil to the chicken and then I am going to cook my marinated chicken um, it, this will take about um, 15 to 20 minutes because I have got a lot of chicken and by the way if you prefer a healthier version you can also do it in your oven or even if you have a grill so it totally depends on you but I prefer it let's say fried in the wok but that's my personal uh, choice all right so also do not forget to give it a stir to make sure that everything is cooked through perfectly so this is it now and I am going to add a bit more of my chicken seasoning you can also use chicken stock if you like but chicken seasoning should be enough for this recipe all right also do not forget to taste the salt you might need a bit more salt now I'm going to stir it leave it on for another five minutes and then my chicken is ready so look at this so now I'm going to leave it on the side and let it cool down and then I'm going to prepare my salad all right so no hassle I'm going to use already prepared salad it's already washed and there is a mix of carrot salad 
um, red cabbage but not too much red cabbage so I'm going to add my own to it so this is it and I cut here um, a quarter red cabbage you can use the white one if you like but I added this one just for a bit of color and then I'm going to use some salad cream this is the brand Kushos I really love it if you can get it it's good and then I am also going to add some chunky burger sauce I also really love burger sauce but if you can't find burger sauce you can use cocktail sauce or mix um, mayonnaise with ketchup so now I'm going to add my salad cream and the quantity really depends on you and I'm going to add my burger sauce all right so this is it and then I'm going to add a bit of Cajun seasoning so if you are in the UK you can get it from Iceland it is very common so it should be easy to find and then I'm going to add a bit of chicken seasoning to it so about half a teaspoon for the Cajun and half a teaspoon for the chicken seasoning I'm going to add a bit of smoked paprika so about half a teaspoon as well and last but not least i am going to add a bit of salt to it so about a quarter teaspoon of salt all right so this is ready and now i am going to mix the sauce with the salad okay friends so the salad is ready the chicken is ready and now i am going to get my wrap so this is what i'm going to use it's from tesco and it says soft and silky plain wraps so again you can try and get that one so easy now add about a big tablespoon of chicken on your flatbread and i'm going to use some sour cream and chives i really love this one and i'm also going to add a bit more of burger sauce so um for the flatbread you can use any sauce you like really the one you prefer but sour cream goes really well with flatbreads so a bit of sour cream a bit of a burger sauce and then i'm going to add about one tablespoon of my salad and this is it basically so this is a very quick and easy chicken shawarma recipe guys really so now i'm going to fold it so i usually fold the left and the right side of the flatbread and then go all the way down whilst still folding the left and the right side of the shawarma and try to push everything in between so this is very very easy to do so this is it this is my flatbread and this is not over we need to do something else so i've got them here ready and now the last step is to heat up your wok and then placing in your chicken shawarma for just about a few minutes for about one to two minutes just to seal the ends and to make it a bit more crunchy okay so here i'm going to turn them over after two minutes and this is it guys look at this perfect homemade chicken shawarma recipe it is a really must try you are not going to be disappointed i promise you so then to keep it warm and to prevent it from leaking sometimes i wrap it in aluminium foil and then i will cut it into two parts and it is also easier for my children because you know children are very messy when they are eating sometimes and this helps them to keep the shawarma together but you don't have to do it if you don't want to and this is it guys look at this homemade chicken wraps you know shawarma is becoming very very popular in Ghana now so if you can make it yourself it is good so that you don't have to buy it so guys thank you all for watching this recipe i really hope you enjoyed it i also have a beef shawarma recipe on my channel so go and watch it if you haven't watched it yet don't forget to subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time thank you bye bye